What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're gonna go over 10 things you never knew about Deadpool. And let's get straight on the video with number 10, a Deadpool movie exists in the comics. In 2010, Marvel decided to release a series of one-shots called X-Men Origins. One issue focused on Deadpool wanting to tell his own story before Hollywood screws it up. In order to adapt his life into a movie, he spent an entire day interviewing screenwriters. Finally, he found someone who wanted to hear all about his childhood. It takes an emotional turn when Deadpool explained how his father left him and why he felt like a burden to his mother. He even talks about how he had to choose between dying from stage 4 cancer or going through an experiment that could save his life. The Weapon X project may have given him the ability to regenerate missing body parts, but it doesn't change the fact that his skin is completely damaged. After he finished telling his story, the screenwriter promised Deadpool that he would create an amazing movie. Three years later, and the movie was released and Deadpool was very excited to watch it. After the film ended, he was disappointed because his traumatic experiences were turned into comedic scenes filled with random explosions. He fantasized about killing everyone in the theater, but he managed to hold in his anger. Near the ending of the issue, he destroyed the screenwriter's brand new sports car. Since the movie was called Deadpool Origins, it's safe to assume that the writer was probably making fun of Wade's depiction in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Number 9, he became an Avenger in the mid-90s. Many people believe that he joined the Avengers in the all-new, all-different Marvel Universe, but that is not entirely true. Heroes Reborn was a crossover story arc that was meant to create a new world for the Avengers and Fantastic Four to exist in. In the ending of the comic, all the Avengers returned to their rightful world except for Swordsman. He became known as the last Avenger. A few years later after this story came out, Joe Kelly revisited his failed comic for Heroes Reborn through Remnants. It was a comedy one-shot that featured characters such as Miss Thing, Panther Cub, Mant, Amazo, Maxi Woman, and Sterling. The team was formed after Swordsman had to step away from superheroism because he needed to go through some experimental procedures. When he returned, he called himself Deadpool and started wearing the red and black suit. The comic deals with him discovering that the world he lives in is nothing more than a construct created by Franklin Richards. This may be an alternate version of Deadpool, but it's still interesting to know that the lovable anti-hero has been an Avenger since the 90s. Number 8, Captain America can relate to him. Deadpool has managed to annoy many characters in the Marvel Universe including Iron Man, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk, and Thor. Many superheroes dislike him, which is why some fans were a little surprised when they found out that Captain America is one of the only few people who can actually stand him. Not only has he defended Deadpool in multiple comics, but he also understands his pain of going through a government experiment. During World War II, Steve Rogers attempted to enlist in the US Army, but was rejected because he was too skinny. This is what caused him to volunteer for a top secret experimental program designed to create an army of super soldiers. After taking the serum, he gained speed, strength, flexibility, endurance, and agility. Just like Captain America, Deadpool was part of a government project intended to give people superpowers for military purposes. Deadpool has always respected Captain America because he idolized him when he was younger. Number 7, Deathstroke and Deadpool have fought each other. People have been comparing these two characters ever since it was announced that Deadpool was supposed to be a parody of Deathstroke. In 2006, Superman slash Batman Annual Number 1 came out and it was written by Joe Kelly, the same person who started Deadpool's initial ongoing series and made him become a breakout star. The comic is about Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne on a cruise while they are both being hunted by Deathstroke. When they go to the Bermuda Triangle, a portal to Earth 3 opens and it is revealed that Deadpool is Deathstroke's counterpart. Since this is a DC book, Deadpool is interrupted whenever he tries to say his name. Another time they fought each other was in the comic book called Deadpool Kills Deadpool which came out in 2013. It's basically about a big war between the good Deadpools and the evil Deadpools from throughout the multiverse. The main purpose of this comic was to kill off the Deadpool core. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that Deadpool had a fight with a character who looks just like Deathstroke. Number 6, His Mouth is a Weapon. Deadpool is commonly known as the Merc with the Mouth because he is obsessed with talking. He has many abilities such as being a highly trained mercenary and having an accelerated healing factor, but annoying people may be his best superpower. He is probably the only character who can defeat his villains without physically attacking them. In one comic, he had to battle Galactus. The villain is known as one of the most powerful beings in the entire Marvel Universe. In order to sustain his life force, 
he must consume planets. He is often called the devourer of worlds, the hunger that does not cease, or the monster of all worlds. The Human Torch, Thing, Invisible Woman, and Mr. Fantastic were not able to defeat Galactus, which is why many people were surprised when Deadpool was able to easily do it by himself. All he had to do was annoy him with his witty comments. Number 5. Fans are slowly killing Deadpool Deadpool is known for constantly breaking the fourth wall and talking directly to the readers or even the writers. Many people find these moments hilarious because it allows the character to make pop culture references. In Deadpool Volume 1, number 34, he admits that what's happened to him is not real and that the writer has a twisted imagination. Another time he broke the fourth wall was when he told Bullseye that it's been 16 issues since he's last seen him. It turns out that there's a much deeper meaning behind these moments. Since Deadpool knows that he is a fictional character, he is discouraged and pained by his existence. In Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe and Deadpool Roasts the Marvel Universe, it is clear that he is depressed because he knows that his only purpose is to entertain fans. Number 4, Deadpool described himself as Ryan Reynolds. After the Deadpool movie came out in 2016, everyone can agree that Ryan Reynolds is the perfect Wade Wilson. The main reason why everyone fell in love with the way he portrayed this anti-hero is because he is very dedicated to his role. According to Reynolds, he had to wait 11 years for Fox to make a Deadpool movie. He made sure that he had some creative control over the movie because he wanted to avoid making the same mistake Marvel made in X-Men Origins. Not only did his hard work pay off, but it also proved that he was born to play this character. The comic version of Deadpool already knew that Ryan Reynolds looked just like him. The first arc of Cable slash Deadpool dealt with a special virus that could be used to change human DNA. After being confronted by Cable, Deadpool explained that he wants to use the virus because he looks like Ryan Reynolds crossed with Sharpay. This comic came out in 2014 and X-Men Origins was released in 2009. Number 3, DC created their own Deadpool knockoff. In the 90s, Deadpool was starting to become a popular anti-hero and DC wanted to create their own version of this character. Deathstroke the Terminator was an ongoing series that published in 1991. In one issue, a mercenary named Wade LaFarge was introduced as Slade's half-brother. He didn't have Deadpool's funny personality, but he certainly did look like him. LaFarge was always jealous of Wilson, which is why he decided to murder Deathstroke's closest friends and relatives. The reason why he called himself the Ravager is because he knew that Slade still blamed him for Grant Wilson's death. In 2004, Wade made another appearance in Teen Titans Volume 3. Ravager was offered $100,000 by an anonymous source to kill Rose Wilson, the daughter of Deathstroke and Lily Worth. After murdering her foster parents, Wade was kidnapped by Deathstroke. He wanted to rekindle his relationship with his daughter, so he allowed Rose to kill his half-brother. Later on, she became the fourth Ravager. Number 2, he fought several dead presidents and re-killed them. Dead Presidents is the first storyline in the new Deadpool series. In the comic, a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent resurrects every dead president from George Washington to Ronald Reagan. These zombies unexpectedly wanted to destroy America and Deadpool was the only person who had the reputation and skills needed to stop them. The writers portrayed the presidents as ridiculously fun bad guys who were willing to do absolutely anything to kill everyone so they can rebuild their country. William Howard Taft was morbidly obese and he traveled in a flying bath. Franklin D. Roosevelt roamed around in a wheelchair and claimed that he could single-handedly clean up the city. Deadpool had a grudge match with Abraham Lincoln and fought Reagan in space. The best part about the story is the fact that the creators had the opportunity to recreate historical moments in a funny way. In one issue, Lincoln sneaked up behind Deadpool and shot the back of his head. Also, they brought up JFK's alleged affair with Marilyn Monroe by making Deadpool dress up as her. And number one, he killed the entire Marvel Universe and the literary universe. In the storyline, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, the X-Men try to help Deadpool by sending him to a mental hospital. It is revealed that the doctor treating him was actually the mad scientist, Psycho Man. He attempts to torture and brainwash Deadpool into becoming his own personal minion. After his procedure fails, Deadpool begins to hear a voice in his head that only wants destruction. He kills Psycho Man by repeatedly smashing his head against a desk. He manages to kill the biggest names in the Marvel Universe, including the Fantastic Four, Hulk, Punisher, The Avengers, Spider-Man, X-Men, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. The book ends with him breaking into the real world and confronting the Marvel writers and artists who are currently writing the book. He tells a reader that it is only a matter of time before he finds them too. 
In Deadpool Killustrated, he realizes that the comic book characters are trapped in an endless cycle of death and resurrection because they're based on characters in literary fiction. He travels through the nexus of all realities and begins murdering classic characters like Moby Dick, Tom Sawyer, The Little Women, Count Dracula, and The Headless Horseman. And that is it for the video guys, as always we hope you all enjoyed, if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Valenplana and I'll see you all later.